These are difficult times. Uh, inflation is at 10% and costs a lot of the raw material prices uh, as well as the commodity prices uh, you know, have gone up, cost of production has gone up. But we're still seeing a growth in our business in terms of volume. Uh, although we, it's going to be difficult uh, to pass on all the price increases, so margins may be hit. But um, I feel uh, there's uh, going to be a lot of potential in some of the newer channels of uh, uh, marketing and distribution, such as modern trade and e-commerce. And we are taking uh, advantage of that by launching premium products in the modern trade and the e-commerce where um, it would have been difficult for us to do that in the general trade. So there are advantages, but uh, I would say that these are difficult times. Mm. Uh, the greatest difficulty seems to be coming from the rural market where Dabur has been a very strong player traditionally, but we can clearly see that that market is not firing at the same rate as the urban market now. And uh, there are even signs of downtrading in many products. Uh, how persistent do you see this rural slowdown being? You're right, uh, Ryan. The last, uh, the last six quarters we've seen uh, uh, the urban market growing at a, at a faster pace than the rural market. So we are facing a little bit of a problem there. But uh, we are coming out with smaller pack sizes, more value-added packs. We are coming out with... Uh, different uh, pr product ranges which cater to the rural market and I don't foresee the I don't foresee the problem to last too long I think it'll recover in the next few quarters mm. if I asked you to guess would you say the next one year would be tough for the rural side or do you see the problems getting resolved before that but the next two quarters are going to be tough but um, I think after that we'll see uh, we'll see a better uh, situation so I think maximum one year and these modern channels that you spoke about, uh, you know, for, I mean, the general perception is that this is a threat for incumbents, large companies like yours. Uh, but you, from what you said, you seem to seeing, uh, seem to be approaching it like an opportunity. But what exactly is your strategy on the DTC platforms and, and the new way of selling consumer products? Well, see, there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of innovation that can happen in, uh, in, a, in, in these sort of uh, outlets, uh, you know, we are able to uh, produce premium products. Uh, we can uh, we can test market uh, variations of existing products, like uh, different uh, varieties, different uh, honeys with flavors. Uh, we've launched peanut butter, so there's a range of products which we can launch in these uh, distribution channels, which then, uh, depending on whether they accept it or not, then roll it out in the general trade. So it is, uh, it is an avenue which uh, we are experimenting with, but I think it has a lot of potential. And would it be organic, your strategy there, or are you ready to pick up or cherry pick some of the interesting brands which have come up or mushroomed in the last couple of years? I mean, would there be a strong inorganic element to Dabur's strategy here? Well, we have, uh, I mean, so far in these channels, we have an uh, organic uh, play which we're, which we're focusing on. I mean, uh, as you know, we've recently acquired a, a mainstream uh, spice business, uh, which is uh, a blended spice company called Bacha, which, uh, which is uh, very focused in the Western uh, region, which we plan to uh, take uh, nationally. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.